Hi guys, Anna is here and in this A-level biology masterclass I cover all of the topics in five minutes. So if you want to learn biology syllabus in a simple and efficient manner then please subscribe to my channel and like my video so I can release more and more videos for you. So in this video we're going to go through triglyceride structure. So if you are not sure how triglycerides form, how they form ester bonds between the fatty acids and glycerol, then this video is for you. Okay, grab a piece of paper and let's just get into it. So triglyceride is a form of a lipid. For A-level syllabus, you need to know about the triglyceride and phospholipid, which I'll cover in the next video. So triglyceride structure consists of four components, glycerol and three fatty acids. In GCC, you might have drawn it as a rectangular in like three branches, but from now on, guys, you have to actually know the chemical structure of glycerol, which I have drawn here for you, which consists of three carbons and three hydroxyl groups attached to it. Okay, so keep this in mind. If you didn't know this, learn it by heart. Okay, the other components of triglyceride are three fatty acids, which you need to appreciate that glycerol will always stay the same. However, the fatty acids are the ones that can change either in length or they can change depending on whether they have double bonds present between the carbon atoms. From this, you need to know two definitions. There are two different types of fatty acids subdivided into saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid. So saturated fatty acid contains single bonds between carbon atoms. The second type of fatty acid includes unsaturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid contains at least one double bond between carbon atoms. I can't stress enough how important it is to say between carbon atoms because if you don't put that in exam, that basically loses your mark straight away. So quite commonly students will say, oh, there is a double bond in the unsaturated fatty acid. But remember, fatty acids contain a CO double bond as part of carboxyl group, which I've just drawn, and then the rest of the fatty acid structure contains CH2s and CH3s, as I will draw on the next page now. Okay, so how do we actually combine three fatty acids together with glycerol? So I'm just going to draw glycerol over here. Again, the more you guys draw this out, the easier it will be to remember. And for the sake of this diagram, I'm not going to draw all three fatty acids, but you can repeat those. So I'm just going to draw an example of a fatty acid, a simple one with a carboxyl group orientated towards the OH, and CH2 and CH3, so a short example of fatty acid. Whenever biological molecules join together, it's usually in a, as a part of a condensation reaction where a molecule of water will be released, and I've circled here where the, this molecule of water will be released. But because there will be three fatty acids binding to glycerol's hydroxyl groups, in total there will be three water molecules released by the end of this reaction. Okay, so there will be three fatty acids, but I'm not going to draw all of them for the purpose of this video. And so this is, guys, how we join fatty acid together with a glycerol. As you can see, I have lost a water molecule at the top. And when glycerol joins the fatty acid, this results in the formation of an ester bond. And because we have three fatty acids joining glycerol, in total there will be three uh, different ester bonds here present, which I'm going to highlight in a moment. So the fatty acids themselves, they can vary within the triglyceride structure. And the rest of it, this is so the ester link will stay the same. However, the rest of the fatty acid could be different, which I marked by R prime and R two prime. Okay, so here I'm just labeling the ester bonds, and you, which you can learn and remember. Okay, guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and now you know how to draw the structure of the triglyceride and the formation of the ester bond. Please press the like for my videos and press the subscribe that really supports the channel. The uh, plan is to finish this A-level course in the time of your exams. So please enjoy and see you in my next video. Goodbye.